What's up guys, it's European Coffee Trip and we are in front of the Beta House in Berlin because we came for the great event that is called Cola Berlin. So what is Collab and why we are here? Uh, Collab is an event organized by Barista Guild of Europe. It's an event where over 80 baristas come to one of the European cities. This time it's in Berlin, so that's why we are here. And what happens actually during this event is that there is one day dedicated to the lectures and workshops. And the second day there are the fringe events all around the city. So people not only stay in the lecture room, but they have a chance to explore the local coffee scene in the cafes, in the roasters. So this is what we are going to do here and this is what we are going to show you also in this video. Okay, so we are on the stage. So on this stage are happening all the presentations, all the talks. So yeah, let's talk about what, what was the first talk about. So the first from Rose Van Aston from Cocoon Coffee. And she was talking about uh, creating the self-learning environment. So she was targeting the topics of barista training and how to actually the, run efficient training courses. Second talk was from Richard and George. And this was very interesting because it was not about the coffee that much, but the guys are actually going to the forest and trying to find the wild food and prepare it. For, for the customer and they were taking it as a as an inspiration for making a seasonal drink in the coffee environment too. Okay, so we have a George as a second speaker of the event and George I would like to ask you actually what was your how would you sum up your 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 talk? What was it about and what do you do? Excellent. Okay, so uh, firstly I'm George Frednam, I'm the owner of the foragers at the Verilam Arms. Uh, came here with our head forager Richard Osmond and we were literally giving everyone here a little bit of an insight into the wild, who we are and what we do. And then finally making a syrup out of a plant that commonly grows on the edges of ancient woodlands. Um, and it's actually used to flavour a lot of drinks. The German name for it is Waldmeister. Okay. So woodsman. Uh, we found out that in Romania it's also called Mother of the Forest. <laughs> okay. But over in England we call it Sweetwood Rough. So yeah, we've been using it to make a nice flavoured syrup to infuse with the coffee and more than likely infuse with some Berliner Weiss later on this evening. And the third talk was by Martin, who is the partner in, in London, but also the experience of competitor in the Coffee in Good Spirit category. And he was talking about the hospitality and how to make five-star hospitality everywhere, not only in your cafe. And now we are here with Martin Hudak, who was the third speaker of, of the event. What was, your, what was the name of, the, of your talk, actually, Martin? Yeah, actually we call it a se The Secrets of Five Star Hospitality, but there is no secret about hospitality, <laughs> I think. So how would you sum up? What was the, the most uh, important takeaway for the, for the people from your lecture? I think it's important of the guest and being hospitable, being focused much more on the service and giving hospitality than just being focused on a cup of coffee or cocktail. I think that's the main message. We are here for the guests, not for coffee or drink itself. And you had the chance to actually lead the workshop after your lecture. So what was the focus of the workshop? <laughs> yeah, in the workshop we tried to showcase somehow some interaction which happening every day in our environment and trying to showcase how to deal with, uh, for example, problematic guests, how to improve our hospitality and how to deal with our own ego. Thank yeah, you very much. That's it. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> so first day of club is over and there were great talks and great lectures. So it's end for today, but tomorrow we'll go to the streets of Berlin to we'll have a coffee tour. Hello from late rainy Berlin, it's second day. And today we are going for a coffee tour. The first cafe is Populous Coffee. Let's go. Right now we are in Populous Coffee in Kreuzberg in Berlin and we are here. Actually one of the reasons we came here is our friend Wojtek who is working here as a barista and he 
was preparing for the Polish Brewers Cup Championship. So he came actually to taste his coffee. So thank you for making You're the welcome. coffee for us. Of course. And uh, what is the coffee actually? The coffee I'm using for my competition is uh, Kishubi from Burundi. It's a very special project because it's a long miles coffee project. Uh, American family working for a community of Burundi to bring up more value to their coffee, which is 70% of the international coffee export of the country, which was actually the poorest country just a few years ago. So I'm using this coffee to showcase that there is lots of quality in Burundi and you can use it even on the international competition level. And I would be interested actually to know a little bit more about the populace. It's a very easy going place. It's a very quiet. It gets busy on the weekends, but we also have very un uncommon food. We serve Scandinavian, mostly Finnish, Finnish things. Uh, a little brunch on the weekend, but I think it's mostly the coffee is something unusual within the whole Berlin. It's a very Scandinavian roast, very Scandinavian approach. And what we do is we focus on coffee with extra additions on the side. So. And you roast your coffee inside of the cafe, yep. actually? we do have a roastery just at the back of the, of the cafe. So that's also an extra, extra feature for the coffee shop. Our next stop is a Five Elephant in Kreuzberg and our friend Yanis invited us for coffee, so that's why we are here. Five Elephant. We are having famous cheesecake and cappuccino. Cheers! Right now we are leaving Five Elephant. It was uh, actually coffee sponsor of the collab. Actually, we haven't met Yanis, but there was a Niels who was making great coffee for us. Kenyan espresso and the cappuccino from Brazil, but we couldn't leave without uh, tasting the legendary cheesecake. So uh, you should come and have one. Just a quick stop in Nano Cafe. There is a special event. We'll be tasting the batch brews from the selection of their coffees. And the Nano Cafe is over there. So let's go. So right now we are in a, in a Nano Cafe in Berlin. And so what's happening here is uh, the tasting of the different coffees they are, they are serving. So you can find on a, on a table Actually, coffee Nano Cafe of JB from the Munich of the Ernst Köfferstrei of the Playground Coffee. And the people actually, not as in the cupping, like they don't need to slurp, but they can just pour themselves a bit of the coffee and, and taste it and compare it to each other. So you get from the Brazil to Kenya. It's prepared over there on the, on the batch brews and you know, delivered in this, you know, the kettles or in the thermoses. So this is how it works here. Nano Café. So it was Nano and we are leaving. It was Nano and we really like it for the very first time and Nano features actually really interesting coffee products, not only coffee but also the cascara drinks, the cold brews and other things. So it's a coffee room that you should visit. And now we are going to Happy Baristas, which is our last stop. Okay, so we moved to another part of Berlin to visit Happy Barista. We are just standing in front of it. And we're gonna taste coffee and alcohol together in a coffee pairing. Let's do that. Let's go. So right now we are already sitting inside of the Happy Barista and in this cozy environment all the team is behind us and actually in a few minutes there is a starting the coffee cocktails tasting and there are four different coffee cocktails i will tell you the name so one name is the honey pot the barista's breakfast and there is a co collab nitro lemonade and there is also something called tom Ka kai affogato and uh, so all the all the cocktails look amazing we are just having the espresso for now and we are really excited to try some.
Okay, hey. so we are by the end of this visit of Berlin. So, yeah, did you have fun? <laughs> I did. We spent two days here in Berlin. One day was collab. Yeah. And uh, second day was actually still collab, but it was spread all around uh, the Berlin. We visited four cafes, right? Yeah. Well, and we end up in Happy Baristas. We tried some coffee cocktails. It was a great event. I think so. So uh, yeah. let us know what uh, Berlin cafe should we visit next when we when we come back. And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye bye.